welcome to 75 Hour Live on Instagram. This is the 46th episode of the series. It is the 10th of August 2022, currently 2.45pm on a very sunny Wednesday afternoon here in Singapore. Thank you so much for joining us, whether you're watching this live or as a recording. My name is Stephanie Jennifer, I am a CZT21 and I'll be your host for this session. And in just a bit, I'll be joined by my be new CZT18 and Susan New CZT Asia too. We're so happy to have you here today. Hi Debbie. Hi Susan. Hi. Hi. Oh, there's a there's an Isaac <laughs> who says the <to> same hello. <laughs> so Susan dropped by the studio earlier on and then Isaac came. And then he was hungry, so he asked for fish ball. So I, as the Chinese will say, so he had fish ball. I also get fish ball. Because what fish ball? Like, <laughs> they bought la, they bought fish ball. Oh. <laughs> ah, so I also get fish ball. Mm, very good. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. Susan, if, Susan need to feed you in order to mm. be... Yes. Uh, feed the small place. and feed the feed, uh, big feed the adult, the big mm. and small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this session we recorded. Um, if you'd like to watch this later, uh, perhaps you're rushing off somewhere right now, or uh, you want to set aside some time for creation art later on in the day or in the week, you can find a recording of today's session over on 7F5R Studios Instagram account at 7 Forest 5 Rivers and also on our YouTube channel youtube.com slash c slash 7F5R Studio. Yeah, so um, these Wednesday live sessions follow the prompts uh, featured in the 7F5R Challenge Group on Facebook. Uh, we post the weekly tea and tango prompts every Tuesday. And there's also fortnightly challenges as well. Uh, and in October, the group will be hosting the Inktober Tangles Challenge. So do join the group, it's free. You just have to answer some security questions so that we're sure that uh, you're not a uh, spam, spam bot. But yeah, 7F5R Challenge directly in your Facebook search bar. Or you can go to bit.ly slash fb. Seven and five are. Right. Yeah, so let's talk about materials that we're using today. Susan, are you okay? Do you want to go first? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is the uh, two tinted towels, fresh from the studio. Mm. <laughs> Just fresh got it from Stephanie. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Not from the oven, but from the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. So it's more the yellow and the blue and some red. And really the, game magicals. Yeah. Mm. So she didn't so write anything. Steph is the official tinter. Yo, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Steph whoever wants the, the tinted tinter. towels, Steph, please. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Actually, it was because then I, <laughs> Debbie, yeah. Debbie can all come to studio. Then she say, then she's like, oh, I'm running out of tinted towels. I'm like, okay, I'm Then end up become an unofficial job. Hi, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I tore Debbie the food. Ah, <laughs> got good. The so you got, I got fish ball. <laughs> I, got I got tinted towels. <laughs> very goodness. good. <laughs> you make us sound very lazy. Eh. So <laughs> no lah. <laughs> sound like as though we are very lazy and then we don't want no to do it la. ourselves. And so therefore we pay you fish got, balls to... Uh, I, so I don't mind that. Pay me in fish ball. <laughs> can, can. I don't mind. <laughs> No la, Debbie and Susan are perfectly capable of tinting their own towels. It's just sometimes it's nice to have things from uh, each other. La. That's why. Okay, yeah, Susan, your pens? A lot of variety. Okay, today. my pen. What's yeah, the luxury pen. Purple, blue, oh. black. Yeah, this is also what? just now that you gave me. So, I'm very... Would you give you one? Uh, I give you. I just oh, okay. give so up stock. Me... Mm. I didn't buy. Yeah, so I just... <laughs> Try one, one I think you will be very good. Uh-huh. No, no, chin, yeah, chin, very chin. Uh-huh. One fish ball, then got a lot of things eh. yeah, yeah, very good. good yeah, good. yeah. Very good. <laughs> then who <laughs> what? what kind of towels you using? Who is short changing who? No la nobody short change la. It's a fair exchange. Yo. Mm. I actually Ch- decided Ch- what house. Can you hear my background is very noisy? Yeah, what's that? Eh? So so uh, there are jets flying and upstairs is ah, very still, uh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Huh, still. Whoa. <laughs> the war haven't ended. Already. Okay, now it's different already. Okay, can yeah. you can. War, war haven't ended. So I, I have some eco dye here with me. I may or may oh, not nice. use it. So this one is um, um this one is purple cabbage. And then this one, you wanna guess what this is? Blueberry. It's root. No, wine. wine. It's so pink. Wine eh. root, eh? Yeah, yeah. Wine a bit root. Haha, eh? <laughs> both are wrong. <laughs> Plum. No. It's Some purple wine, dragon fruit. Huh? Purple dragon fruit can make so pink ah? Yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah, nice. Okay, since you like the pink, I can give it to you. Yo. <laughs> right. I, I don't think I want to draw on it. You're saying I'm lazy. I can't pee. Ah, yeah, stop her. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, lah. I'm not like that. Okay. No, you so don't I eat your fruits. So you don't have. I have, I have. I got eat fruits. Got eat. Then why but, did I use it to tint? Dragon fruit. Not very yummy leh. Yeah, so I you mean, don't eat your fruits. Maybe it's the dragon fruit that I buy not not that nice. I always feel like dragon fruit tastes like water. The pink like one water. got more taste, uh. The pink yeah, one got more, more taste. Slightly yeah. sweet. Yeah, yeah. I am using um this is Fabriano What is it called? Medio Evelis. There we go. So sorry. I'm brain 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 fat moment. Yeah. Fabriano Medio Evelis paper. And then I use Lindy's Gang Magicals to tint it. And then I have uh, an idea for this today's session's tile. So I'm looking forward to bringing that idea to life. Uh, Suzu, do you want to share today's string? Okay. Today's <laughs> string is very simple. <laughs> she, she has to think mm. a while first. Well, I'm, I'm mute myself. <laughs> Yeah, I, I like need to unmute myself. To, I like how she has to consider her. Mm, should maybe I share I don't today? Want, don't <laughs> yeah, maybe I don't, I don't want. want yeah. yeah, my fish ball not very uh very hwasan, Not very yeah. worth <laughs> Okay, so today's tangle. Uh, no, the string. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> I, I don't tangle know is not me. Tangle, so no, 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 no. So go ahead, go because, ahead, please. Because because the little one is besides me, distracting me. <laughs> So any time of time he will you hear your hear hear his sound. Okay, the string eighty eight two eight. You can either to uh make it side by side or if let's say you want to make it like uh the ribbon kind that connected in this way also can. Can you see? Yeah, the eight on top and the other eight at the bottom. Okay, so this is the two options that I have. Or maybe you want to make it like overlapping. It's like a flower of four petals. Two, eight. Uh, double eight. Okay. Is this too big? Uh? Like this piece like very big. Eh? Then later I'll be like lagging along while you are finished. Maybe I should look for a smaller piece. <laughs> yeah. Think about. <laughs> yeah, very dangerous. Eh. Then I'll be yeah, the last yeah. one again. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you see, you see how much bigger it is, no? It's like compared to a normal town. See? Very big, eh? This is Strath more 500. This one is kind of big. Should I go with a apprentice town? I'm still thinking. Yeah, yeah. Please continue. 88. Okay. And then today's uh, featured tangle is a tangle, a new tangle by oh. Debbie. Oh my it's gosh. Called, it's called Symphony. So it's like um, like symphony, but then it's dedicated half to Singapore and half to Stephanie. Which Stephanie it was stolen. Mm, not stolen. Lah. Requested. It was stolen. As present. It was stolen. <laughs> by who? Ah? The one who stole the fish ball. I didn't steal the fish ball. I was offered fish the ball. the the okay. fish ball and the the tangle like the tangle very bohua eh, to give. People uh-huh. want fish ball only. Eh. My one is whole tangle. Eh. Oh no! They still have to think. Eh. So Debbie showed me the the tangle. And I was like, oh, S S for Stephanie lah. Then she looked at me, no lah. <laughs> it's not. Oh, what she, S she's like, oh, it's for me. I'm like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> So, mm. it's not gifted, it's taken. Stolen. 
stole mm, it. My one. Why she have I don't have this? Then Debbie still can say. Then S is also for Susan. Then how? Then like, oh, then she share lah. So for <laughs> Ravi. Yeah, the <sighs> symphony. And Debbie, you want to demonstrate how to draw a symphony? Why don't you demonstrate? Since you stole it. I demonstrated so, it yesterday. So, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, can give you, you more air in, time. You teed me yesterday. Uh, one of the questions that was asked was, is a pearl a gemstone? And then Debbie <laughs> mentioned, like, oh, <laughs> Tiffany. Tiffany well, would know the uh, answer yeah. to this. So for context, for those of you who have not uh, followed Tiffany has replied. Yeah, Tiffany, Tiffany is um, Debbie's, the, the daughter of Debbie's best friend. Yeah, so she's <laughs> a very bright young girl. And basically... Uh, Maybe you're saying now oh, she probably knows the answer because obviously she's smarter than both of us come my kids these days are so bright and so lovely. And so Tiffany has gotten back to us and she said pearls are gemstones but they are the only gemstones in the world that come from a living creature. So, yeah, but technically they are a geological result not not a... Right, gemstones are a geological result. Right? I know that the, the pearls happens because... They get like sand in your mouth. Yeah, but it has to do with an animal, right? So the rest of the gemstones, the, the logic behind gemstones is that it's crafted in the earth. Mm, over ma- yeah. many, many years. Yeah. This one is this poor bugger trying to make the sand not hurt him. So he make a pearl <laughs> and case it in shiny things. And humans find it and they're like, wow, nice. I can wear this. Yeah, and then become pearl. Okay, it's funny. It's just cursive <laughs> as shapes. <laughs> I've drawn it. Uh, yeah, why did you go so far away? Eh? Yeah, why? Eh? Mm. Okay, so this is symphony. Uh, how many spokes each uh, orb has is up to you. Lah. So if you have a bigger orb, you of course can fit maybe five or six, maybe seven spokes. Uh, and also how wide or narrow they are will give you more or less space for more spokes, yeah? So it's just cursive as shape. Nothing too complicated. Yes, you can choose to close the loop and then add little uh, extra weights or rounding parts to it. Hi, Daniel. Daniel is here. Yeah, so Tomomi is saying, oh, it's very cute tangle. Yes, thank you very much. In chat, yes. So symphony. Um, so using today's string and today's tangle, you can then pick a tile of your own and then create something along with us. You might want to tangle along with what we are doing. Of course, these are not uh, classes. They are just casual tangling sessions. So we don't do any teaching apart from uh, coming out of the string and uh, showing you how to draw the week's featured tangle so it really is open-ended to how you want to uh, go on your own little tangling adventure yeah so why is the string 88 mm. <laughs> susan why so silly? why so auspicious uh, because because today uh, this month is august uh, yeah. oh. so, mm, so august is eight of, wah, not 88 wah. Double happiness, double. double eight. Yeah. Can you imagine 88 oh. months in a year? My goodness. Tired. <laughs> happy, happy <laughs> birthday, very, very far, far away. Do, do, do you know, actually, uh, 8th of August in Taiwan is the Father's Day. Oh. They call Papa Jie. Yeah. Oh, so cute. Oh, Papa Jie. Yeah. Oh, so Papa. Yeah. It's Papa is the, the father in Chinese. Father. Yeah. So That's cute. why they celebrate on the 8th of August. Then you and when do you celebrate Father's Day? No la, we Malaysia Singapore we celebrate in June, right? Yeah la, but you like Taiwan a lot, what? So long time never fly there. But now when. very dangerous la. Yeah la. Now better dangerous. don't. Yeah. Mm. Don't know whether war will break out. <sighs> Another war will break out. Yeah. I decided on a round towel. Oh, okay. Since uh, Susan looks like she's using postcard size and you are using A6. So mm. I thought maybe some contrast would be nice. Hers is not postcard size. I think hers is... 
bigger. Mine is smaller. Mine is, is A5. Hers is A6, I think. Yeah. If yours is a medium, if it is an A6. Yeah. Oh. A6. Yeah. Medium and yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, medium and is an A6. Yeah. Then hers is what? A7. <laughs> Smaller than... That's, I, I really think you, you got the measurements in reverse. So you see the measurement, the pen, the jerry roll and the, the tiles is small. Smaller than the pen. No, correct. As the numbers go up, the size goes down because mm. A4 yeah. is bigger. So A7 would be one size smaller than A6. No, I it's think like hers is A5. A5. Hers is A5, I think. No, no. It's, no, it's much more smaller small. than A5. Yeah. Mm. I think it's A5 is this Because it's for reading invite. Or is it yours is like a 5 tile but slightly bigger? Or maybe. Yes, mm. you're right. Yeah, slightly tile, wider yeah. than the 5 tile. It's for wedding invitation. Okay, where was I? Uh, Far away. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's all because had... of the fish balls. No, 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 no. <laughs> I had this idea. I had this idea where I can draw a Rukas with Symphony. So I'm going to try it today. Can you hear upstairs? Should no, I mute myself? Okay. Oh, okay. Still okay. So how is everybody today? It's still okay. Good. Today is a very hot day. Yeah. Okay, yeah, quite windy here. Leh. It's windy. Just not very just hot also. One I think my, my one of my doors slammed shut <laughs> as we were coming into the live show. And then I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's how windy it is. I should leave up high. Not really. They, I mean, my previous place was higher. This is higher up. This is only 11 stories high. Then I leave the first floor what? <laughs> Ground level. Because previously it was 14, what? so compared to 14, this is lower. What? Not wrong. It's me, compared to 4th floor, mine is down, down. Already. Then go and buy a new house. Uh. Anyway, you are due to buy. Mm. Yeah. Do you, do you all see the National Day Parade yesterday? There's this one. Do you mean, do cute. you watch? Yeah, yeah. You watch, see, uh, yeah, same, same, same meaning. There's this one woman, she was asked, what are you grateful for? Uh, yeah, she said BTO. She's, yeah, she said she got, <laughs> she got BTO. <laughs> and then the guy was like, oh, okay. Then he like took the, and she took back the mic. Then she, she like pulled back the mic towards herself. Then she said, and yakuntos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a totally Stephanie song. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. Situation. So and, then, and then I showed Alex. Oh gosh. Stan would be like, and fish balls. Mm. We watched last night as well, like the first time in don't know how many, I think, wow. don't, I think maybe, I can't even remember, when was the last time I watched, you know? Then how was the it? The kids. So long. Some hearts were quite lame though. Yeah, yeah, I haven't watched yeah, them. Some of them are very lame though. I didn't like the theme this year. Last time they always structure it to be like Singapore's past, present and future. But then this year it's like everything's about COVID and how like we will get through it together. And I'm like, okay. I think, I think song, maybe they... The... Yeah, yeah, for a few moments it was like South <laughs> Korea Day or something. Yeah, yeah. I was like, where is the yeah. Singapore spirit? <laughs> What's all these pop songs? But they did focus on some uh Singaporean songs as well. Like. It's just that it's not the main focus. Mm. Yeah. Towards the end there was this mashup, right? Of like all the but they like increased the beats per minute for the song. So it's like faster than the original. 
So basically, right, we have actually answered half of one of the questions already. Okay. <laughs> so <Sorry>. maybe <laughs> since, since we have started answering the question that hasn't been asked, maybe I should just <laughs> ask that question. How about that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Go ahead. How do you celebrate National Day? Susan, how do you celebrate National Day? I didn't celebrate that. <laughs> <laughs> my national day is on 31st of August <laughs> not my not my one I yesterday yesterday I think you just <laughs> sit down at home yesterday is what? yesterday I, I, I went out for lunch then I uh, just come back uh, came back because I have a class in the evening so come back and prepare for that but you were also at the live show, right? I mean, the live class. She can't keep po keep Yeah. So yesterday we held we held a live class, and then I tried to sleep in in the morning, uh. Yeah. So I think I only got out of bed around. And this is very, very rare for me because if you know uh, me personally, right, I hardly ever sleep in. So, yesterday I tried to sleep in. I think I got out of bed at 11. And then I made brunch. Yeah. And then... And then we did a short grocery run. And then came back for the live show. Yeah. So, quite boring also, lah, if you think about it. But, yeah. I, I think my body is like trying to catch up on sleep. So, yeah. Because when my, when my heart issue comes back, my, it somehow tires me out faster. So, I feel, I feel very exhausted. Uh, even though I don't do much, it kind of takes a toll on my body when the heart rate goes up. So, so I've been trying to, <laughs> trying to balance everything out and then try to sleep more. Just to counter it lah. Yeah, so I, I tried to catch up on sleep yesterday. Yeah. If I, I was telling Stephanie, if I had my way, I would probably be sleeping all week. Hmm, I believe. Yeah. I'm a petit nounous. I'm a bear. I, I seldom take even naps, you know. So this is something that is uh, kind of like a not, not me. Uh. Yeah. So that was yesterday. I also cooked dinner. So basically, yeah, so basically it feels like when I'm not busy working, I'm actually in the kitchen and then vice versa. I don't have a life. <laughs> I attend live. Uh, yeah, so lame. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we have question one to five left. That was number six. I didn't answer that. Nobody asked me what I did at National Day. So sad. Oh. I thought you explained already what you were doing, what? Oh, so just watch National Day for you the whole day. <laughs> well, if you want to continue, you can. <laughs> Why already? Yeah. One to five, what was the question? This one was one, is it? No, this was six. That, oh, How that did one, you uh. celebrate National Day? I got six questions today. Because, is it on because some of the questions are very short. Then huh? is it is it on thirty first of August you're gonna ask Susan how she celebrate National Day? Good idea, eh? mm, Must write down. But hers yeah, is called Merdeka Day. It's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. Yeah. Hers is called Merdeka Day, right? That is a Merdeka Day. Yeah, Merdeka oh. Day. Uh, oh, it's National Day lah. It's a National oh. Day also. But it's called Translate. it's called a different name. Yeah, Merdeka Day. No lah, no lah. We call it National Day also. But Merdeka but day we, nicer, we right? have uh don't know. But we have another day is called the Malaysia Day when uh the East Malaysia and West Malaysia come in to become a Malaysia. Yeah. Oh. The Merdeka I think is only the, the West Malaysia. Main mainland. So cute. Then today I learned I learned that Pasa Malam the Malam means that it opens at night. Yeah. Where you come from? I didn't know. I didn't know. I come from France. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I come from France. <laughs> then, Susan, what is the morning version? The daytime version? Pasa Malam? The Pasa Pagi. Pasa Pagi. 
for villain. Ah, uh, you don't know Malam is night, yeah? I don't know. It's called Night Market, what? Then? I never called it Night Market my entire life. <laughs> It's but it's, it's literally translated as Baza. I don't know ma. I don't know ma. So now I know. Mm. Okay, what to six? We go in order, huh, Susan? I thought you were saying so you, with... you want to say what start. you did yesterday. I finished already. Start with question ah! one, come. Oh my god, that one. Excuse me. <laughs> start with question one, come. No, let you, no, let you say that you don't want to say it. I don't want really. Oh no, it looks like a polygon. So rubbish. What? You want number one, is it? Do you say number uh, one? Okay. Uh, what do you like the most about Singapore? Yo. <laughs> yeah. That it's safe and it's clean. Mm. What about you, Susan? Here for the part that I like is it's very really convenient the public transport mm. yeah because in Malaysia normally our t- public transport is not that convenient and like the public bus bus is not that much so every uh people who graduate from school when they want to work most of them they need to like maybe buy a car then that one is a li- a bit of burden for them for those who, who fresh grad or just come out from school. But because our public transport is... Unless you are working in the city area, then that one is okay. But if maybe in some other area it's not that convenient, you have to, to maybe uh, get a car, second hand or whatever. Yeah, but in Singapore, actually, I think most of the people, we do not need a car. Wow. We until do. Maybe we, we have, it's not that we do maybe not until, need a car. It's we okay, it's, it's, a car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> only when, when <laughs> they, from what I saw from my friends, that only when they have maybe more kids, or maybe they have a, a elderly, then more family members, then they will, uh, if they can afford, then they will get a car. Because in Singapore, uh, otherwise, cars are very expensive. Mm, yeah, very expensive. Yeah. yeah. Cars are very expensive in Singapore. So the tax we pay on cars um actually uh brings up the cost to almost what you pay for a house elsewhere. Right? Yeah. So some sometimes uh in Singapore uh well a lot of people say that we are a very convenient country where there's a lot of public transport. But the irony is that we can't afford cars. That's why. Uh, but it, it's good. Uh, if let's say you, if let's say in Malaysia, yeah, uh, maybe some people can afford. But for those fresh fresh grade, maybe they come out their their salary is maybe a uh, thousand plus ringgit. Then if because of the transportation, they have to get a car, a very uh, basic small cars. Maybe the installment might cost them about four hundred or five uh, hundred. So almost yeah, but, one but third people, of their salary. Yeah. But people here, when they buy a car, is is a lot more than one third their salary. Some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. but but for fresh grade, you have a choice not to have a car, but still can get to the work. That's why I'm going to 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 say is about this thing for those yeah, people who just I came out from school. Have you ever been in the transport system during peak hour? Yeah, have you? but <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah, so in, in Singapore, mm. the transport system in, in, in during the peak hour, uh, during the hours where everyone is rushing to work, right? Sometimes it can be very uncomfortable one, you know? Like, I mean, especially if you are... So I never, I mean, all the while, I, I have never uh, owned my own car, but my, my, my dad has... Uh, my my parents had two cars at one point, but for us, right? Uh, I will, I I still prefer public transport. Okay, so al- although I'm saying all these, right? I still prefer public transport, but, uh, and I still rely on public transport. But when I um, so I didn't realize how uncomfortable it was, right? Uh, until I there was a period in my life in my thirties where I wasn't that well, and I was on um. I had to commute back and forth uh, to work and and of course during the peak hour. Lah. So during the peak hour, right, um, it's very, very uncomfortable if you're not 100% well. 
So in a way, right, there's pros and cons now, of course. And I mean, for for me at that point, right, I I realized how how difficult it was for old folks, for pregnant women, you know, for people with like maybe getting uh better after surgery, like I was, to be on public transport, like, because it's so the the space is so tight and. And one thing, I look young, so I don't look like I need a seat. And there were certain people who were trying to force me to give in my seat to them, you know. Because I don't look sick, what? I don't look sick. I don't look handicapped. I, I look like I have two legs and I can walk. So therefore, right, there were a few times where, although I wasn't feeling well, I had to really give up my seat to them, you know. Or, or, or no. else they'll be like staring at you persistently, you know. Now yeah. Singapore has this um, Invisible disability pass That you can request Yeah That's but my point is that People will still stare at you uh, And discriminate So that's what the pass is trying to like overcome you know? Yeah, my point is that then what I'm supposed to ID myself as someone who's unwell, is it? Then you will let me sit I mean, that's kind of like And how, then like, what if Handicap Yeah, then, and then what, and then what if I, you know, what if I'm not ill enough to qualify for the pass, but I really need a seat? Uh, I don't think there's a criteria, you can just request for it, and then they'll offer it to you. I think that there is a criteria, because if you don't have a criteria, everyone will apply, and everyone will get it, then what's the use of a pass, right? So you you still need a criteria for such things, if not, like, random people will go and get, you know? So I guess, I guess what I'm trying to say is that you know if if like cars were more affordable, then our our it's a it's a give and take lah. Then then less people will be on public transport, right? And then you know, uh, maybe there will be like reduced services. I I, I guess lah, because last time when I was in Australia, also I lived in areas where they don't have uh, public transport after four p.m. even on weekdays. And then week weekends is like totally you don't have to think of the bus at all because there's none. Yeah, so so in a way lah, I guess it's also because we are very small, so uh it's more efficient to have public transport running here than in some other larger countries. Yeah. No, I think what Singapore did is that because the land is too small, they have to to increase so called the price of the card in order to avoid people avoid more people getting their own car. If let's say it is like Australia, then the car is maybe everyone can afford. Then in a Singapore, in a small city, the the people staying here is quite packed already. If adding the cars, I think, uh, also another problem. That's why yeah, they, they I, have I, to improve. Think, correct, but mm. there are still a lot of people who are driving on. <laughs> yeah, but if let's so say it's, it's affordable, kind of then like, it's more maybe correct, double or triple. Correct, but my point now is that. It's like uh, a whole class of people who cannot afford. You see, right? Yeah. So That's why it's they kind improve of, their public transport, lah. It's so kind that, of discriminatory, mm. also, lah, because that means that you know a class of people have a easier life getting to work, lah, right? And then a class of people don't, lah. But I think when compared to other countries, Singapore's public system is still the tra- transport system is still. Like really of decent. course, there's no. I mean, no one is complaining about that now. I think none of. I don't think. I don't think that's why Susan meant. I'm also not complaining about the transport system, but I'm saying that the people here is a culture system that you know discriminates lah in a sense lah. Like just because you are young, just because you don't look uh ill or handicapped, you know. So yeah. So so that means uh if 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 let's say people just go and get the 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 past and everything. I'm sure they are trying to fix it for some people, la, you know, like those really who are really not well and, you know, who really need the past. It's a good step forward, but then it's also discriminatory la, in the sense that I have to prove to you that I'm sick, but who are you? You are just another commuter on the bus <laughs> trying to stare, stare me down. So actually, I had, I had a couple of incidents where I was, I felt like I was going to faint on the, I, was, I felt like I was going to con collapse on the way to work you know because i was standing and uh it was so crowded i couldn't really breathe and i felt i was going to collapse and then and then um 
there was a lady who saw that I was going to collapse. There was once. And she gave her seat to me, you know. And then uh, her friend was like, why you give her the seat? And then she was like, made to explain it. Eh. Then I felt so bad, I didn't want to take the seat also. You get what I'm trying to say about this or not? It's not a, a matter of like, do you qualify or... It's just being a normal human being also cannot, you know? Yeah, so... Anyway, how did we get this far away from the topic? <laughs> yeah... I think if you genuinely do need the seat, though, you should be your own advocate. It's kind of like when like you're in the yeah, but I wasn't in the correct. But I was so out of it, right? I wasn't able to go and debate with a well and able person about seats. Yeah, you know? so so it's also so it's also like um societal education. Correct. Right? You have correct. to educate like some. I remember one time like um I was at the mall with my mom then um. Shadow at the point of time, my daughter was very, very young. So we had a stroller. And of course, it's not safe to bring a stroller up the escalator with the child inside of it. So uh, we were waiting for the lift. And every single lift that came, I think we waited for like two, two different lifts. They had people in it. That seemed young and able-bodied. And my mom was complaining, oh, these people can just take the, the escalator. Why don't they take the escalator? And I had to like verbally tell her, like, you know, your instinctual reaction might be that they seem well, but maybe... It's that they, you know, are not well. It's just outwardly, they look young and fine. But maybe they have hidden disabilities, you know? So yeah. you give people benefit that's, of that's, doubt. That's, that's, that's discrimination, you know, also. Yeah. Mm. And, and, but I understand and, that there, there will be people who are yeah. assholes that they will take advantage of certain systems. Manipulate that. that yeah. yeah. So, so, so you even give the, people the benefit the of that, that to do. Correct. So, so like the past that you mentioned, right? You still have to qualify. If you don't qualify, all these people will kind of manipulate it, you know? Or I have this past, you know, I am sick. I went, I went to go and check. So, so it's like you, have, oh like, you can provide, you can go and provide <laughs> millennial. A medical, medical certificate. Yeah, so still or, like, if you have something. If you have a doctor's note also, you can do that. Yeah. So I don't know. They, they also mention like chronic. I also, they also mention chronic pain. So I'm like, if I have chronic pain, how do I? Or if you're feeling unwell, they also mention. So I'm like, if I'm not feeling well, then can I get... It's, a, it's not a pass, it's a sticker. So I guess like every single time you go, you have to get it. But I'm like, what if I have chronic huh? pain? Then it's then, like every then, single time that I go, I have to get anymore, then I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't I have understand to it. Laminate it. <laughs> <laughs> you need to put a pin behind and you can, yum, you can keep it yourself. I was like, hmm, <laughs> a bit not well thought out, but here we go. It's a step in the yeah, right direction. So, but we still have so to figure things there out. was someone in the chat who said she doesn't understand, but when I asked her what does she not understand, she, I think she left. So mm. maybe we should uh, reintroduce uh, this uh, social tangling uh, idea that we have. So basically, um, we actually tangle once a week on Wednesdays together as a team. So it gives us the opportunity to sort of reconnect outside of uh, our work lives. Uh, we actually work together. So this is a, an opportunity for us to connect outside our work as well as participate in the prompts that are released in the group every, in our Facebook group every Tuesday. So we release uh, prompts every Tuesday, every fortnight, uh, as well as um, for the month of October, Tangles October, as well as January, which is uh, the Fragment Challenge. Um, I am not sure what she meant by she doesn't understand. So it could be that we were talking about uh, night markets and Malay and Singlish. So, because uh, two of us are based primarily in Singapore and Susan is uh, traveling between Singapore and Malaysia most of the time. So, our English is peppered with um, English of, from the region. Does that make sense? So, our English is... Um, we, we actually study British English in school. Uh, but because of our background in Singapore, our cultural background in Singapore, we actually mix our English with a lot of um, terms borrowed from Chinese and Malay and sometimes Indian as well. So you get to hear like different kinds of uh, expressions, not necessarily because we want to confuse you, but because it comes naturally to a team that's based here. 
Yeah. So, so Susan, besides the public transport, what do you like about Singapore? I like the library. <laughs> it's also library. the convenience. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> yes, what, because Malaysia I love the library. library? Okay, right. Malaysia Library is not is okay. For example, in JB, there's only one so called the National Library in oh. in JB. Oh. Yeah, so one it's not like in Singapore. Don't have branch, uh, is it? Oh. Yeah, don't have. So only to... there is maybe some private private organization for the maybe they for for a uh, non profit. They'll there's a one that they they open a library, but that one is very small. But I think that one is good enough for for kids or. Maybe some of the people to borrow the book, but in Singapore, in all the most of the neighborhood, there's a library. So mm. I think it is very good to to encourage people to to read, yeah. Because not many people they would like to buy the books, and some of I think the books now today is quite expensive. Yeah, yeah, it's especially those printed in US and UK, then it's very expensive. Then, uh, so then I think the, the mm, what's the loan term in uh, in Malaysia if it's I don't the know eh. I don't even went to the the, the library. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I only went to the library in my school ah. <laughs> at that time. Oh, okay, so, so yeah. within school they have la, Within school they like have public facing. Once you graduate, no more. Yeah. Right? Yeah, no more really. Then you have to go to the the, the only one in the JV, no. the the public library. Yeah. No. So I, I remember that at the time when I first got my uh, PR after I graduated from poly. The first thing I do is I go and apply the the library memberships. <laughs> then I just mm. I like to go there most of the time. So so yeah. is it is it because there is a low take up rate? That's why there's only one library, or is it because of cost? Or I'm not what is really the sure. reason there's only one? Uh? so funny. I don't know. Johor is actually quite big. Eh? Yeah, very big. Yeah, Johor is actually very big. You know. Yeah, so I, wonder I mean, how long a, a lot of loan term uh, is. <laughs> A lot of Singaporeans don't know that Johor is actually quite a big <laughs> state Very because good. all they do is they go past Johor. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> but they just drive, know the Johor yeah. Baru. <laughs> they go to Johor just for shopping and then and then they bypass it for, for, for further further states, you know. So a lot of people don't know that Johor has uh its own Chinatown, for example. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting, huh? So Stephanie, what do you like about Singapore? I say it's safe and it's clean. Uh, why? Then, then I also want to say, I, what do you mean why? <laughs> ask the government why. <laughs> no, it's safe and it's clean, but why do you like it? Lah? Not not ask the government why it's safe. Have you, have you been, have you been to, to other countries? It's very scary, eh, actually. Of course I've been to other countries. Lah. What kind of question <laughs> yeah. is that? Then you will know that it's, Singapore in comparison is very, very clean. No, but you're having a talk show and giving your oh, opinion. Not talking. It has, a, it has it. nothing to do it's with safe, me going safe. to other countries or not. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who have not visited Singapore, you all should come. I remember one time. Um, yeah, and I ask stayed... Stephanie to buy you food. Mm, can I bring you around? <laughs> the f- the one, I remember one time this Zenango teacher said she was like having a layover in Singapore. So she's like, what should I eat and where should I go if I'm only staying for a couple of hours? So I told her you should try some Singapore dishes, like for example, fishball noodles. Then she was like, what is fishball noodles? And then that was the day where I learned that other countries don't really have fishball noodles. Like that's a unique thing to us. Yeah, it sounds disgusting also. <laughs> Why? Fishball noodles is nice. You should try. But it sounds disgusting also. Anyways, so that's my the other part of my answer. The other part of my answer is I like the fact that Singapore got a lot of food. And then... Uh, I think we the, all know that. Yeah, one of the <laughs> the stories I wanted to use to illustrate the fact Singapore is clean is that uh, I remember my, my neighbourhood decided that um, uh, in addition to the off days that uh, they would give to the neighbourhood cleaner, they would have one day where he wouldn't clean the estate. It's just you all have to settle yourselves. And then I remember that, that the night before the day that he was meant to not clean the estate, it rained. So the leaves from the trees fell onto the ground. So it was a whole bunch of leaves. And I remember like going to him like, why is the floor so filthy? Why did the cleaner and actually then I thought to myself, oh yeah, it's the day that he's not meant to clean. I was like, wow, in one night there's so much leaves on the yeah. floor actually. 
Then I was like, wow, then actually, like, every single day, these people are working so hard to, like, keep yeah. the, the estate clean, you know? And it's like this, yeah. this background work that you are not really aware of until people stop doing it and you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> actually, so different, right? Yeah. So, a lot of things we take for granted. I think yeah. for me, right, and what she- I like about, what I like about Singapore is that it's very multi. So, when, when I say it's multi, right, I mean it in a few different ways. Um, when I say that, I mean that, you know, it's very multi in the sense that there are a lot of uh, different races and different cultures that exist in Singapore that coexist. And if you think about how small we are, right, um, it, all these differences can actually add up to a lot, you know, because uh, you are constantly, like, fighting for space, like, basically, it's overcrowding. But, the irony is that, you know, here people don't really, um, they have come to accept like different beliefs, like different belief systems and as well as different like practices. And in a way, I wouldn't say that there isn't racism because I think every country will have a degree of racism. But I feel that in Singapore, we are able to discuss and choose the religion that we want to be part of or the belief system that we want to participate in, uh, nobody will bat an eye if you are a Caucasian in a temple, for example. Nobody will bat an eye if you are uh, a Chinese in a, in a mosque, you know? So, so a lot of things like that uh, are very... Uh, well, I wouldn't say that they don't happen overseas. I'm sure they do. But I think here it's, it's kind of like something that we embrace. And we don't we don't show judgment, uh, in in the same manner that other cultures may show judgment towards, uh, these sort of issues. So I I like that about Singapore because it allows us to, uh, you know, not fixate on certain problems like differences in religion and culture, and it allows us to sort of pursue, uh, the more important things lah in life. You know, I mean we. We have uh, opportunities that are almost equal to everyone, I believe, uh, coming from school systems to work processes. And I think that is a very, um, that is a very important uh, asset to Singapore culture because without that, then there will be perception of like uh, lack and perception of unfairness and perceptions can actually cause civil strife. So that is one reason why I, I like Singapore is because we are quite transparent in our dealings. So for example, let's let's take the BTO thing, the HDB thing, uh, the housing issue that Singaporeans face, right? So earlier in the in the show, Stephanie was talking about we were talking about Steph buying a house in the future and and how there was someone uh in the National Day Parade yesterday on TV on live telecast talking about how she managed to, got to get her BTO ticket. Uh, so a BTO is actually a built-to-order flat in Singapore. So the government uh, in Singapore has a department called the Housing Development Board. This is becoming like a, a government-sponsored show, but it's not. Infomercial, <laughs> yes. Please come visit yeah, we, Singapore. We don't, yeah, we don't work for them. Um, so basically, couples in Singapore, they get... Um, they they are allowed to apply for subsidized uh housing. Uh, this is government housing, but on a very large scale. So it's kind of like ninety, eighty to ninety percent of our uh, population that lives in uh, government housing, and the government housing here is of a very different standard than than I would um thing to compare to in other countries' government housing because, I mean, the scale is completely different. Uh. And also the prices and everything, uh, the way that we sell our houses and market our houses and buy our houses is also different. So the processes are different also, the outcomes are different also. The, I mean, um, so basically in Singapore, when you actually subscribe to purchase a new build-to-order flat, for example, uh, there, there's such a thing as a racial quota. So early in, 
I think it's the 1960s or 70s, um, they actually implemented a racial quota on each uh, intake whenever they build a new housing project. And this is meant to ensure that there are opportunities enough for different people or different racial ethnic groups. So, for example, if let's say the quota for this uh, building has uh, reached the maximum for for Chinese uh, Chinese purchasers or Chinese residents, then it will no longer be available if I'm a Chinese and I wanted to buy this flat. So then I will have to look for another place where the quota isn't filled yet. I always so, thought it was, I always thought it was to prevent racial riots. I guess that is the very large picture, mm-hmm. right? But it's also, you see, if, if let's say I'm the government and I don't allow for equal opportunity, eventually there'll be riots. Lah. So that is like the, so it's that more is like the if, thing if that they are trying say, to avoid let's say completely. This, this area is very hot selling. Then uh, they're scared that people will like outbeat each other. Then they're sort of like this market imbalance where this no there will area... always be people okay once it's on the open market uh it's open for outbidding does that make sense you can't basically but it also control depends on the racial open quota market well, in right? no 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 you wait let me just finish what i'm trying to say so if let's say i want to outbid you or anything in an open market the fact mm-hmm. that it's an open market allows for outbidding uh, uh, i mean it's it's just the that's just the mechanics mechanics of what an open market is but my point is that if you don't even qualify on the racial quota, then there's no there's no even talking about bidding. Mm. So it doesn't matter even if you had like the million dollars or more to buy. If you don't qualify, you can't stay in that house. Uh, mm. Unless the racial quota changes la, and, and then it shifts. La. Because it's, it's kind of like a... It will move all the time, right? As people buy and sell the house. Mm-mm. As in, in a block of flats on where people move out. in and out. Yeah, so mm. at that moment when you want to buy, right, and the quota is hit, right, then you cannot. Mm. And it's kind of like to protect uh, the fact that some people, you know, in certain areas, you know, they can't... Uh, it's kind of like I want, I, I want to have a more uh, varied population in a certain block. Does that make sense? I don't want the entire block to be one race only. Mm. Yeah. So the long term effects will be to prevent, as you said, la, racial issues arising, la, like large scale, mm. you know, detrimental racial issues. La. But on the ground level, it's uh, administered this way la, to prevent, you know, like uh, clustering of uh, the same sort of people in a certain country. Uh, same sort of uh, people in a certain region. Uh. So, so I guess this is unique because I don't think Malaysia has this. Does, I mean, I think, I think, I think Susan should we talk have, about it. We okay. have, yes, in uh, public housing. They, uh, yes, even in the private, they have so-called allocate a certain percentage for the so-called the Bumi Putra, which oh. is the Malay. Yeah, so they, they actually, I think it's the, the, the same, uh, the concept is that uh, when I launch a, a new project, I give the the opportunity to the public based on the 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 uh how should I say maybe based on their the Please. Malay Indian Chinese because mm. in based on the population itself yeah, yeah so but they actually if, have this kind of thing so does do does it prefer the Bumi Putra? They doesn't say that prefer or not prefer, but it's a okay. it's a regulation that they need to occupy certain percentage. Just for the Bumi Putra to buy the, the those units, yeah. So it means mm. it's protecting the Bumi yes. Putra la. It's not yes. protecting uh uh variety yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. it's true. In in, so it's in slight, Malaysia, slightly it's this different. Way. So it's slightly different. Mm. A, a little bit, yeah, a bit in different. A way, but they still have this like, kind of yeah. a, a location. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's more like um one one race and then the all the other races lah, correct? Is that what you mean? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So here, right, it, it's like all the races have a quota. It's not just one yeah. one. Yeah. So it's kind it's of strong. like um, 
Yeah. Based on our population numbers, right? So the population has X amount of Chinese Malay Indian. Mm. So each uh region within Singapore should have X amount of Malay. I think it's region though. It's it's, it's like uh it's the it's housing it's yeah housing. What do they call it? Eh? What do you mean? Um, it's not sector. What do they call it in Singapore? I don't know what you mean. Neighbor. Estate. <laughs> they call estate. a lot of things. Estate. <laughs> <laughs> don't know how to English today. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm, so that's that's, to that's one reason. That's one reason why uh you see like uh even though in like a very high class area or very low class area, you still see all four races or, or all five races like if you consider even the the this. non yeah the minority races now. Yeah. Mm. So that's one reason why I say Singapore is very multi. Another reason why I say Singapore is multi is because we kind of, uh, you know, in, in some countries, right, they discriminate uh, against different age groups as well. Mm. Whereas in Singapore, right, across our society, right, you are accepted no matter what ra- racial or age group you are in, you know. So I think um, I had this conversation with someone recently where she was telling me that, you know, where you are, right, uh, elderly people are very respected. I mean, she's she's my friend who is slightly older and I won't name her because recently she was, uh, yeah, so I won't name her because she had a few issues recently and uh, we were talking uh, and she said that, you know, people are very surprised that uh, they, they, they find that, uh, you know, it's, it's like, why do you need to celebrate someone coming off a certain age you know like past past 40 you are old something like that you know yeah something along those lines like, I, I, I'm trying Singapore's to be as vague <laughs> I'm trying to be as vague as possible Singapore's okay? life expectancy very late like, then 40 is all say uh. yeah but their life expectancy is very high so it's not just then, the, what the, the heck? 40 it's not is old? the life it's not just life expectancy in a certain country that make people oh. respect or disrespect their elders right Right, it's is a is a social norm la. That's what she's saying la, That people don't see uh old people as precious they commodities. Come la. to Singapore. Yeah, but the fact is, in Singapore also there are people who don't mm. respect the older people la. So uh, it's yeah, yeah still, it's kind of like everywhere. Yeah, it's still another form of discrimination. But here in Singapore, we do try to protect our elderly. We have uh things like the Medica generation, right? The Pioneer generation, stuff like mm. that. So we have uh we have government schemes that actually protect them. And then, uh, recently, you know, I see in Sing Siong, for example, the little mini mart that's across from me, uh, my home. It's called uh, it's it's a chain. Uh, of supermarkets called Sing Xiong. They have they have like uh introduced uh for the Medeka and Pioneer generation uh special discounts like on certain days of the week. And I thought that was very nice of them, you know. They can just easily just ignore and then just move on, you know. Because why should they they are for profit organization, right? So mm-hmm. I think I think what I like about Singapore is that, you know, in in a way Nobody discriminates your age, your sex, your... I mean, of course, sex a little bit. Lah. Like, you know, they still prefer men, right? <laughs> yeah, so a little bit, lah, a little bit. But we still get to have jobs, you know, as women. And then we still get to walk the streets as women. You know, certain mm, places you can't... You can't underdress. Uh, yeah, Singapore, you can't, you can't be not dressed, lah. But you can still <laughs> underdress a little bit. Yeah. Not that I'm going to try. You're right. To underdress if you want. <laughs> mm, there was this, yeah. recently there was this news, um, mm. not recent, recent, but there was this uh, auntie, then she was screaming at this other streamer, was he, wear your clothes properly. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah. Yeah, there was this lady. She's old, old, not old, uh, older lady. She was screaming at this younger girl, telling her to wear her clothes properly because she deemed her too underdressed. Yeah, but my point is that my point is that in society nowadays, you can still, you know, get away with being less dressed, lah, but not not dressed. Yeah. Mm. Not you, nudity is not allowed though. 
yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah for 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 avoidance of doubt <laughs> <laughs> Come to Singapore, say no, but Debbie and Stephanie and Susan say I could, <laughs> I could be unrest. No, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I like about Singapore, and I think I I would prefer more space, though. <laughs> that one very difficult. More space, though. Well, we gonna conquer Malaysia. I don't think we can, though. Yeah la, how? I think I think they will try to conquer us first though. Yeah man. <laughs> okay, before this gets too political, <laughs> shall we move on to the next question? Yeah. What what number you want? Two la, we're going in order. Oh. Why why now now we're going now in we're order? Now we're very well behaved, huh, Susan? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Very well behaved. In order not to get complaint. Mm, I think yes. number two will be uh your favorite question out of all right, of them. Got food. Yeah. Okay, come. Fish ball. What Ayo is your? Ayo, oh my gosh. Ayo. What is your? Ayo. Okay, sorry, what? sorry. Go. <laughs> I cannot ask the we're question. Gonna be, we're gonna be here till tomorrow. <laughs> so excited what? for the food. What is your favorite local food specialty? Oh. Hmm. What is your? I like popia. Oh, popia. What is, is nice. local, man? Oh, local Baoping. Baoping is local, man. No, man. I, I thought it's Malaysia somewhere. and other countries have it also. Actually, got... in Malaysia and Singapore, the food is quite similar. Yeah, don't <laughs> yeah. start. Uh, always, don't start they always cl- online, want to like, claim Malaysia, who is the origin. Yeah. But I like Popia. So, is there so anything that then. very special? Is there anything Popia. that very special in Singapore but not in Malaysia? I cannot think of anything eh. Chili crab? I think... Chili crab and Malaysia also have. I <laughs> think that... I think Yu Sen lah. Yu, you know the... The, oh, the hey. Chinese oh. New Year. Uh, that, one, that one didn't start in Malaysia, right? Did it? Uh, I don't one, think I'm so. Not, eh. I'm not sure. I know, I know they have it now lah. But long ago, when it started, it wasn't... But anyway, uh, was... that's not my favourite. It's not my favorite, so lah. But you ask, <laughs> hello, you ask a question, so I yeah, yeah, yeah. Answer. And so I, I cannot get anything that I like, but it's curry, only unique in Singapore. Curry fish head. Malaysia also Malaysia have also very have nice. Mm. JB got a very nice one. Singapore like to go there and queue for the. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, curry fish head cannot be your favorite local specialty. You don't eat the. No, but I like chili oh, crab. curry fish head. I eat. Not you. I the eat. other one. <laughs> laksa, laksa. Laksa come from Singapore? Laksa, nice also. But laksa, Malaysia, Malaysia also have. have. Yes. Okay, me leh. And you also don't eat. Also have. Because yeah. Malaysia got Hokkien nang. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe bua, we bua. should. Bua kelua. Bua kelua in Melaka? Yeah. Yeah, oh, Malaysia have. I asked that you. The you, you, bang you. Bang you. I think we yeah. should tweak this question a bit lah. Okay. Mm. Why don't we say regional? Well, my saliva is something to come with. You cannot mm. eat that. Also, la the. I some food I do eat spicy. It's just I, I, I need to. Nobody need believe to, you. Nobody believe the, you. I need to tell you. Special nobody request less spicy. Yeah, yeah, xiao la. You can, you can. Nobody believe you. Even the even the person who want to sell you the meat pot also don't believe you. Yeah, man. <laughs> chili? No one chili. What kind of rubbish nonsense? I'm like, no, I cannot eat chili la. Why? Why so judge? Mm. You say I'm the kids No spicy mm. at all Yeah Then he's like Then what for you come to my store To eat food Yeah Then you tell him okay. I'm an ang wo I'm an wo yeah <laughs> No but I think <laughs> The thing that throws people off Is when I speak Mandarin Then they, they think of me As Chinese Hey eh, Mandarin also Ang wo also can speak Mandarin no? Eh hello yeah, nah. Discriminate I don't know <laughs> Discriminatory yeah. But it's okay, my mom also called me useless. <laughs> Saying that I cannot eat chili. Uh, <laughs> so it's okay. Debbie, what kind of food you like? Uh currently a lot of food I cannot eat though. That I like. Poor thing. Poor thing. Yeah. I, 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 I like uh so so we changed the question is it to regional, is it? Yeah, what to do? Oh is what is yeah. unity I like what law me. I, I like law me and hockey me. And, um, 
I also like Assam Laksa, but this one I prefer the Penang version. So I betray my country for Assam Laksa. <laughs> <laughs> Yours not nice. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I actually I really like Malaysian food, no. So certain things, right? I will not say Singapore is the best. Yeah. So you can keep me out of the live show. I don't mind. Yeah. I think I think I like Olua also But I haven't had Olua in a very long what time What is Olua? Now, now I cannot eat You know the fried oyster with uh, You know they put the it's The Taiwan of, Oa Jian ah. I don't think it's in Taiwanese Taiwan? eh. But the Taiwan also okay. have I know Taiwan has it But I don't uh. know where it originated Only the Oa or the Fried together with other... They fry it things? with egg. So they put in starch. So they put in a type of starch that makes it very crispy. Then they oh, crispy. fry it with egg. Yeah. It's slightly oh. different from the Taiwan style. Oh, okay, uh, okay. I think yeah, it's uh, Malaysia also have... Malaysia have, Malaysia I, I have. I tried, have. I tried I it there before. in KL. Yeah. I, I've eaten it there in, in Malaysia before. Malaysia definitely have. But the... I like the the particular one that I used to like, uh, we used to like, is the one at East Coast Park. So, oh, I don't okay. know whether it's still there though, after the pandemic and everything, I don't know whether it's still there, but but we used to like that one. Uh. Yeah. And then, I think there's, there's a few that we used to like, uh, but I haven't had it in a long, long time. Yeah. Very long time. And then now I also cannot eat it. So, don't think about it. Don't think about it. But who knows, maybe one more year, how six months later you can eat. Mm-hmm. Yo, I, it, now, now also I can eat, lah, but I, I will have to pay for it in pain, you know, which I don't think is a very valid currency to pay with. You understand my meaning? Yeah, what I mean is that maybe after a certain amount of time, you can eat without any, any <laughs> reaction, then... Mm. But I was thinking of taking Eudika to try, you know. I don't know. I need to ask her what she eats and what she doesn't eat first. Is she up to try durian? I don't know whether it's in season or by then. But I think maybe it's not the season. September, maybe not. I think the season is just over. Yeah. Yeah. Susan, what's the food that you like? Popia. Oh, the popia. Let's see when you are. Mm. Like, actually a lot of food la. yeah, that's I'm definitely say, reply really yeah. no not yet I'm waiting for her to finish yeah so so she got a very long long list no I can just I can yeah. just imagine. no no yeah. I, I, I got hers is very I long that's why she has to wait until the last I got mm. parry down I, I, I think I think one of my comfort food is kaya toast mm. kaya that one toast. everywhere also have Hong Kong also have it Hong Kong also have it regional yeah. okay yeah. lah but I think Hong Kong is different kind with the Singapore and Malaysia style Singapore yeah, one is sweet. They put, they put kaya. Butter kaya. They put kaya, mm. then they put a thick slab of cold butter in between the yeah. hot bread. Then when you eat, you're like, wow, very shock. But then you think to yourself, this is very wow, terrible. The calories are very, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a so, very unhealthy. Don't think about it, don't think uh, about it. Uh, <laughs> very unhealthy you have it. You have it with a hot copy or an ice Milo. Uh, very nice. Which very you also sweet. don't eat. You you don't take I, coffee, wah. I take Milo. I take Milo. Yeah, so you this one Milo not like not real chocolate. Singaporean. Yeah, I'm, PR I'm only half. Yeah, I'm only yeah, half PR Singaporean. Only. <laughs> Stop P- it. PR only. PR only. Stop it. It will be very funny then, if ICA don't approve you because you don't eat chili. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this this one one like, so what's your no favorite bus? food? Then it's like uh. <laughs> Hey, they should do, do this. Really? Uh, it will be very funny. Uh. Oh, you don't eat chili? Okay, you cannot be a Singaporean. Very good. <laughs> you got eat lulian before? Where's your, what's your favorite lulian store? And then you're like, uh, <laughs> stress. stress. No, no, then they actually test you. You say you eat chili? Okay, eat this. You fail. You can't be Singaporean. Sponsorship in some nasi lemak store or something. Oh so my goodness. Funny. That's the reason why both of you are not working in ICA. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll pull off nonsense. Oh, no need, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why. That's Maybe why we have a lot of complaints coming in. No, that's why they got bad lot. Because they never reject, man, based on this criteria. Mm. If if they reject based on this criteria, a lot of people don't need to come in, right? Mm. 
Mm, I see a heat as up. <laughs> do you do you do you do you recently see the newspaper? They actually talked about how they had an influx of applications and they couldn't cope. Oh, of what? Yeah, so they they had they had, uh, they had yeah citizenship oh. passports. I think it was more of passports lah. Passports so, so the same. Yeah. So then my point is that if they implement this criteria, then they got an easier job ah. Can you eat chili? Can you imagine <laughs> a government form? Then they need to set out another department before. for a complaint. <laughs> Then, then the Chinese song is "Ni pa la ma." Ni xi huan shi xiao la, zhong la shi da la. Bu yao la. So even option, if you don't want la, then they immediately put you in the reject pile. Reject. Hmm, <laughs> very good. Very good. I also like tau hui. Hmm. What is tau hui? Oh, tau hua. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I had a moment where like, I don't the know. Bing to... cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bing the bing cut. The bing cut. Tohua. Tohua. Why you never eat tohua le? Who? I never Susan. seen you eat tohua Who? before. I eat... it's a breakfast food ma. Who ever got in the middle of the day eat? God! Okay. Hey, people human. buy lao pan day and night one, you know? That's, and that's there's a 24-hour <laughs> store, you know? <laughs> but I think the lao pan <laughs> is more... The lao pan is not very traditional. It's more like the jelly kind mm. of tou hua. But, but it's still like, su yu tou hua. I like the, the one that I bought from Pasar Malam in Malaysia. Then you discriminate against lao pan. Then you go there, Putin. auntie, 我要你的老伴, but 不是豆花来的, 是豆, 不懂豆什么? 豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆豆
Then I happily told, mm, let's go to the playground. Auntie Stephanie introduces one, one <laughs> new playground. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. So we took the bus, go there. Uh, initially, I still saw there's a construction site near, uh, the construction site nearby. So I'm not very sure whether the, the, the playground is open to public already, but I saw, <laughs> From the, the double decker bus, I saw two uncles sitting there relaxed and I said, mm, okay, I think the, 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 the playground is, uh, is ready. So we, uh, took some walk to there. Then in the end, found that it's still not open to public. Oh, the entrance, the entrance is, uh, there's a truck that's parked at there. So that two uncles, I think most likely they are the constructor. <laughs> they are not the public who, Probably uncle that uh, stay there for relax. Then you should ask them. Uh, so, so uncle, when is he ready? Ah, uh? Susan Shan. <laughs> no, ask, no, ask I can't Isaac even get into in it. You know, ask, I can't ask, even get Isaac. in because it's blocked by the the truck. <laughs> so this is way. Stephanie's fault. Yeah, it's my fault. Take bus okay. and everything just to. So Isaac only had a bus, right? No, no. Yes, then very good. Then we go to the Kuala <laughs> bar. They end up, you know what? The pilot mm. playground, also there are a few, oh. few sessions in center maintenance. So he only went for the swing. Then, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Stephanie, you very horrible leh. You make them... I don't know, I didn't know. So horrible. <laughs> okay lah, we just go quiet. for a walk. <laughs> don't know that you keep talk. quiet. She's too excited to, to share with me. Uh-huh. So sad. Yeah. Hi, the because when she, she shared to me saying that, oh, there's a new park there. I, I also know because a uh, few times when I'm going to studio, then we pass by. Then I saw the, the construction, the, those excavators. Then I told I said, yes, this is the next time we are going, going to come here for the playground because it looks really nice. Uh, so when Steph told me that, oh, it's ready, <laughs> then it's not. <laughs> Sick one. Yeah. Yeah. So your fish ball Sick very... Uh... Need to clean back on. Uh. Refund. Yeah, man. Yeah. Be out. <laughs> Refund, yeah. So, so next time I should ask, have you went there before? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go <laughs> yourself go. <laughs> then I go. <laughs> cannot, mm. cannot believe her really. Okay. Nobody, Daddy, nobody believe her. Really. What's your favorite part? I this? would say that, I would say that I like Botanic Gardens a lot as well. Cause, cause, I don't know, I just, feel an affinity to the space. Um, so I think Botanic Gardens is a place where it has been around since the time I was born, you know. So in Singapore, right, it's very difficult to have a, a park last so long or a space last so long without like um, people uh, or, well, without changes to it, lah, you know, like large scale changes to it. Not, not to say that the Botanic Gardens hasn't changed at all, but it has. It's just that it's still around uh, largely intact since I was a child and I mean it's, it's, it's much older than that of course but what I'm trying to say is that you know for me most of my childhood landmarks don't uh, exist anymore like uh, last time there was a national library uh, that they tore down to make way for a road for example and that used to be one of my favorite uh, places to be at or in Singapore, because there was like a bookshop as well. So there was a bookshop across the road. I think it's called MPH. And then the library was uh, within walking distance. So that area was one of my favorite areas in Singapore. But later we lost it to uh, redevelopment and stuff. Uh. So uh, another open space that I like uh, is Gardens by the Bay. But sometimes, sometimes I find that it's a bit too commercialized. Uh, and and I prefer Botanic Gardens over Gardens by the Bay for that one reason lah. like uh, because one of it has been around very very long and the other one is kind of like a bit too commercial um, another open space I like in Singapore hmm. I'll think about it and come back to you but I think there should be more I got so many even. why not I like. Then, then I can I ask like, you the same question. Why your favorite food got so many? <laughs> no, I only got two. Yeah, and then why so many? Two. Ni. 
I like Pongo Park because I currently live near it, so we visit it often. And then I also like Bukit Timah Hill because last time I used to Why live Why is it called Pongo Park when it's not in Pongo? Uh? Yeah, exactly. Why is it called Pongo Park when it's not in Pongo? I don't understand. You go and Google. And then uh. why, why is a constituency called Paya Lebar constituency when it's not even near, anywhere near Paya Lebar? It is. <laughs> How is it near? Paya Lebar it's so Road. far away. The Paya Lebar so Road is very long. Oh my Alibaba gosh! Is very long. Then you don't know how oh to say gosh. that. How is the Marine Parade GRC also all the way until yeah, why? Serangoon? Uh, same ah. Anyhow, only. Anyhow, <laughs> cheat, cheat your feelings only. And the red color. It's the wrong color. My logic is that they wanted to redraw the boundaries, but they reused the old name. Was they were lazy to oh. think of names? Maybe. Oh, like that one. Yeah, maybe. Sen, sen, sen si. Yeah, last time I used to live in Bukit Panjang. Then if it's a it's a short walk into the the Bukit Timah Hill, but it's it's not up high lah. Usually people drive in, then you already meet way up the mountain. Mountain. It's not a mountain uh, though. The hill, hill. Not even a hill. I told my Indonesian friend, I remember, oh Bukit Timah Hill. Then he was like Bukit Timah Hill. What hill? Then I'm like, yeah, it's a hill. He's like, no, it's a slope. And I'm like, be quiet, you. <laughs> but I agree with him, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. But he's so, so bloody annoying. So. Look at my hero, Bukit Timah. And he studied in Singapore. So he's like, it's not like he don't know our I agree area. with him, man. He's like, oh, Bukit Timah Hill. Then I'm like, Bukit Timah Hill, like, you don't Bukit Timah No, it's not a hill. It's a slope. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> so awful. <laughs> it's funny, la, but, but it's I funny. agree. I agree also, la. Don't have to yeah. say like that lah. Like, our country is so small, don't like that lah. Like, give chance a bit lah. Like. Do you know? I think our hills are kind of like a joke though. Like, seriously. Yeah. Bukit Timah yeah. Slope. Bukit Timah Slope doesn't have a, much of a ring to it as Bukit Timah Hill though. So, that's right. So, Bukit Timah Hill, very nice. I remember I used to pick, um, you know like, when leaves decompose after a while, you can sort of, the... So imagine if it's like a green leaf, right? Then it decomposes, the green part of the leaf will fall away and then you'll get left with the veins of the the leaf. Mm-hmm. So I used mm-hmm. to pick those those kind of uh, decomposed leaves up for art projects. Yeah, yeah they're very nice. Yeah. So you cannot pick the leaf in another part? It's just a childhood memory that I have because I used to live in that area. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> if I live in, so now I like Pongo Park because I live near it, ma. Right. So mm. you only like the public space if you live near it. Yes, we are lazy Singaporeans. We don't explore things outside of our own constituency. Mm. The the good thing though, the upside is that I've lived in multiple areas of Singapore, so not so bad. Some people stay in one area, then they don't go anywhere. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hello. Poor thing la. Singapore actually quite quite interesting. Why is it poor thing? For. You just live where you live la. Why is it? Like, <laughs> I mean, you got a house to stay, you should be happy, right? Really, right? You explore ma. Why? Singapore quite quite interesting. Give you no way to look. Okay. What's your last one, Debbie? You said we'll come back to it later. Yeah, I'm still thinking, but there are la. I I I do like uh I do like being out in the open actually. I like the, I think it's called the horticulture part. But it's, it's a very, very uh, small, it's not, it's not as big uh, as um, Gardens by the Bay or Botanic Gardens. But I quite like it. It's just that it's very out of the way for me. Okay, what's next? So are we going to the next question or what? Mm. Mm. Okay. So the next question is, have you visited any other islands in Singapore? Which do you like best and why? So actually, in you know, when we talk about Singapore being an island state, right? People think that there's only one island and that's it. Mm. So islands there, there are a lot of smaller, smaller islands la, in the area. Yeah. I didn't been any before. Huh? Sentosa? I know we've been 
，哦哦，先多杀，我说 ，OK OK， 先多杀，收集楼顶，哎呦，哎呦，哎呦，没关系 ，OK， because you can, you can, you can, you can, because 先先多杀 ，you can go there by road or by the cable car. So I suddenly forgot that it's an island. So in my mindset, going to island, you have to take the boat or the ferry. So that means I can drive over. It's not an island. Yeah. Then then、Malaysia. you drive from Malaysia to Singapore, then then you go all the way over there. Ayo. Hmm. Okay. Ayo. So the only island that I went before is Sentosa, lor. But I wanted to go to Ubin, eh. Then why never? Ubin. Hello. Ubin ask ask my husband. Why? Then you ask to ask Stephanie to bring you up. Huh? Bring me. You went to Ubin before. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah, that's the point. Yes, that's the point. Ubin, sure. I've been. That's the point. That's the point. What? Get lost together, then more fun, right? What is the? What is the? Small Coney Island. Small little strip next to Malaysia. You stand at the edge of Coney Island. You can look up. At the ocean and then see Malaysia, and then you wave. Then maybe someone might wave back. No, I cannot see lah. <laughs> you ask Susan <laughs> to stand. You ask Susan yeah, yeah. to go to the coast. Then you wave to her from there lah. Yeah, yeah. Then, then what? <laughs> if where where is it ah? Was it your place? What do you mean by where is it? No, no, no. I'm thinking of another、Coney、place. Coney Island. Can see, no, not Coney Island. Can see Indonesia. I don't know her English. Her English is so powerful. It's too separate. It's too separate. Yeah, so I cannot read your mind. From from your house can see Indonesia, was it? That's my old house. Yeah, your old house. No, no, your house. Yeah, yeah fair enough. <laughs> so there was one day. It was a very clear day. Then we were walking along the corridor, you know, of my old place. And then I told her, "Wow, today very clear. Can see Indonesia." And then she looked at me, ah,、uh, like as though I fell from the sky or something. <laughs> yeah, what、well, can see Indonesia?、Huh? And she don't believe me, you know. I don't believe her. They have to go home. Yeah, and she check don't the believe、map. me. <sighs> it sounds it sounds insane that you can see Indonesia from there, no? But it's true. That's Indonesia. I know it's not true. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know what to do with you. Then I joke my friend, uh, my Indonesian friend. See, if I stand there and wave, can you see me? Then he like, wow, you think <laughs> can see Indonesia so far? Indonesia is very big, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah Indonesia is so big. I just so joking, just joking. <laughs> Ayo, oh my god! Because he joke, he say in Bukit Timah slope. Then I joke with him, lah. Can can wave and then you can see me. Hmm. <sighs> Very good. I've been to Ubin. We sound like bimbos. It's okay. I've been to uh Coney Island, Singapore Coney Island, not not America's Coney Island. Very look very very different. Um, and then I was thinking. What was it called to... before? Right, there was another name for Pulau.、Mm? Don't know what. Yeah. Pulau Pongo Barat or something like that.、Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then I I I wanted to go to what's the other place? It's got you have to take a ferry out to it. Then it's got like nice sandy beaches. Gusu Island. Gusu Island is it? I don't know. Oh, ah, islands one. Oh, you have sandy beaches. Oh, you have to take a boat out. <laughs> I'm what? Fair, what fair enough. Coney, Coney. To answer your previous question, Coney Island was originally known as Pulau Serangoon. Oh, then where is Pongo Barat? Somewhere else, another、no、island.、Idea. Is it Lazarus?、Yeah. I don't think so. I think it's the other side. Lazarus Island is, I think, in the south. Wrong direction. Hello. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can obviously geography not my main strength. So where have you been, Nabi? I've been to Pulau, uh, Kusu Island. I've been to Pulau Tekong. I've been to Pulau Hantu, and Pulau、oh. Hantu Kecil, and then of course, of course Sentosa lah. And I've been to Kusu Island also, but I haven't been to Pulau Ubin. But I do want to go to Pulau Ubin at some point. Yeah, let's go together. Can ah, but I think must wait till the kids are a bit older first. Hmm. Then got yeah, Pulau Semakau, which is Singapore's landfill. 
it is. There's also, I mean, there are others lah. But why do you want to go to the landfill for what? Um, I don't think you can go there. Yeah, but my okay. question is... No, I'm just... My as question a fun is, fact, as a fun fact to international <sighs> viewers, Singapore has its own island for its landfill. Mm. I think so the question is, have you visited any other islands in Singapore Let's and see, which do you I'm like sure. best and why? What, the landfill? I don't mind the landfill. Very useful. I just can you imagine poor us have to survive. Have you no. visited that? Eh? So you you went it's just secondary, like just additional. You see, yeah. Uh, it's the a talk English, show, uh. right? Yeah, but you're not answering the question, you are so straight. Finish okay, okay, never mind that. Finish it, yeah. So that's it. Uh. It's just a fun fun fact. Like pearls are gemstones, today we learn. Mm. But I really don't think they are real, real gemstones. They they can be classified Fiction. as gemstones, lah. But I think in the order of things, right, they still should be, because Whoa. you know gemstones come from rocks. Yeah, pearls mm. come from animals. You know about man-made diamonds. Man-made, ah. Then consider gemstones. <laughs> I would say animals? that they are Of course you are an animal la. You are a human no, no, being then? You are part of m- m- mammal, The mammal uh, group right Mammalian mm. You call it mammalian? I don't know what's mammalian. the term yeah. But yeah. they are classified Pearls are classified as gemstones Yeah but they shouldn't be Is what I'm saying Yo. <laughs> According to Debbie's decree. Yeah because the logic is that Gemstones are from Geological well, I mean, it's natural. It's just it's an animal creating it rather than like time and space. I wouldn't, I wouldn't classify that as natural, no, because there are, there are many diamonds that are gemstones also. What? The, the, the DNA or rather the molecular makeup of a diamond and a, and a lab-grown diamond is the same. Mm. So, therefore, I would still call it a gemstone because it has the same makeup. Right, mm. but a pearl is not a gemstone in that sense. You see, do you know what I'm trying to say? I mean, there are man-made, there are cultured pearls as well. I wouldn't say man-made, but there are cultured pearls as well. What? Man-made pearls. <laughs> Some poor guy sitting in the water. <laughs> yeah, can you can do fake pearls? What? Those are man-made pearls, ah. Oh my goodness. I'm sure there are people who have tried to. See in the yeah. water and create their own. <laughs> Probably not see in the water, but like create their own. Yeah. You can plastic very pearls or so. Uh. Mm, very good. <laughs> you are very literal. Like. <laughs> it's just funny, like the image that my brain offered to me. Like, can you imagine human made pearl? Some guy sitting there going, eee! <laughs> eee! hands together or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why? Why cannot? No, I have a vision of a guy being constipated. No! That's what you said! <laughs> no, I said press his hands together. No. What are you thinking of? Poor thing. He constipated. Stephanie, Stephanie is one of the more disgusting people that you will ever meet. Hey! It's true. Just creative. It's true. Okay, what's the next question? It's true. Moving along. Moving along. <laughs> Oh yeah, question three was it? No, uh, now it's question five already. Oh okay. So uh, we, we finish. We four. finish. We fi- finish question six, question one, two, and three. We finish four was the mm. islands one. Mm, okay. Oh, but we haven't answered why we like them best, eh? Oh. So why do you like Coney Island? It's nice, uh. I mean, I haven't been to many islands. Pulau Ubin seems a bit removed from civilization. That's the point of an island, right? I don't want, I don't like. Don't like, don't like. I think, I think for me, I, I would think that Kusu Island has changed a lot. I haven't been back there in probably 20 years <laughs> or more. So I would like to see Kusu Island again. Uh. But what I saw last time was something that I like. Very peaceful, very calm. Um, Pulau Hantu would be nice, but they don't have electricity there on the island, so it's a kind of, I don't know whether they do now, 
have electricity, but when I went there, there wasn't any electricity. So, if there was, it would be good, lah. better. Lah. Mm, yeah. So, maybe we should plan a team retreat Get away. to Ubin. Ubin. I don't think Ubin. we should stay over there. Lee. I think we I should think just go for the Ubin day. Ubin can stay over me. Yeah, like I'd say I don't think you can stay over there. Oh. I don't know why we are having a talk show when all of us cannot talk properly. My goodness. <laughs> We're like the worst people to have a talk show with. It didn't, it didn't um, start off as I think well. I think the Bula Ubin, right? Someone go there and camping. Yeah, but I don't you think there. we should. Eh. Yeah, I after a certain should, timing, eh. got, no, got no fairies on eh. I, I think after Stephanie and I, I think when, I think Stephanie and I, we are not the kind of people that can go into this yeah. stuff. We will come out very, uh, we will hear things and see things. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Susan, come hear things and see us. things. I can't hear anything. I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah. So, Susan kind can go, but Stephanie like, kind, uh, my kind cannot go. Uh, okay. Okay. She, uh, not not the right timing also. Now it's here. Mm. Uh, it's Hungry Ghost Festival. Yeah. When does it end, uh, by the way? Let's find out. <laughs> Google again. Mm. I think maybe end of before end of this month. If not wrong. Uh, yeah, I also know. <laughs> <laughs> you you want exact date. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> I also know. <laughs> so Friday funny. 12 August. <sighs> Oh, very fast, huh? Okay, very good. Or oh, 12 August. Oh. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Mm, very good. Okay, you want to go, you can go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we were just joking about seven months. So the seven lunar month is uh, in the Chinese tradition, it's the month where the gates of hell are open so to speak. Um, and it's kind of like, it's kind of uh, the same concept as the festival or the date, but not quite. Yeah. So, if you are interested, you can go and Google both things and see how very different they are because they are very different. Oh. Yeah. Muhai, Muhai. So, at least 26 August. Yeah, you cheat my feelings. No, no, because different countries got different beliefs. Mm. My feelings. I thought they, they follow the lunar yeah, calendar. Yeah, follow lunar calendar. I don't know. China doing its own little thing. <laughs> oh, actually, China they they didn't. Oh, from what I heard, yeah. they yeah they didn't uh not so so call so call celebrate, but they didn't uh do anything <laughs> observe, about yeah. this. Observe yeah. it. Observe For it. this uh, Zhongyuan, I think only in Malaysia and Singapore, Hong mm. Kong. I think Hong, Hong Kong, Kong Hong Kong, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure also. I will go and ask my Hong Kong friends. 26. Yeah. Mm. They will cheat so, my feelings. People will give offerings to the spirits. Mm. Oh, maybe, be- maybe the, uh-huh. the 12th August is the the shi wu. Mm. The 15th day yeah, of yeah. the lunar July. Yeah. Lunar July? Lun- uh, uh, okay. Lunar month. <laughs> what should we call it? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> the seven lunar month. Seven, seven lunar month. Seven okay. lunar month. Oh my god. What did we say? Shu. We don't know why we have a talk show when we don't know how to talk. Yeah. We don't know how to talk. Like. Why are we having a... <laughs> Very, Very uncalling. Right? <laughs> we talk, but no. we talk nonsense. No, no. We don't know how to talk. So I need more practice. Ah. I, I pity our viewers sometimes. Yeah. Who are your... Thank doing? you for listening to us. <laughs> yeah. We, we don't deserve it. <laughs> Yeah, so so you know this we don't deserve it concept, uh, um, you know it's like a very uh, I think in 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 the world nowadays, right? Because entitlement is such a big thing with certain people. When 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 we say things like "Oh, thank you, I really don't deserve this," you know, then uh, I get I get people with very strange reactions, like uh, "Why you say that? You do what? You know, I I mean." 
it's not a personal reflection on you, it's a personal reflection on me. It's like, I don't think I deserve it. And I cannot deserve it, is what I'm trying to say. You, you get what I mean? Not? I have to go explain huh? the roundabout way. Yeah, so it's kind of like, we don't deserve don't anything deserve to begin love. with. Yeah, yeah, we don't deserve anything to begin with, right? So it's like, it's kind of like a... I'll offer you love because you are you. Gratitude moment. Uh. So in in a way, right, a lot of people, they don't understand what true gratitude they, is also. I think they misunderstand what you mean though. Even when you first yeah. said it, I also didn't understand what you mean. Yeah, I you are too much of a... <laughs> too much of hey, a hey. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, <laughs> hey. It's true, uh, you are a millennial. Uh. It can be too much of a millennial. Uh. Why? Hey. It just means no, that you're young. Uh. Don't don't involve millennials in this. It's just me being me. <laughs> but millennials are young. Uh. Well, how is that wrong? I think of some millennials who don't don't believe that they're millennials. Like, Alex. Then that, that one is their problem. Uh. That one is their, their identity Actually, issue. is there a consensus as to which year exactly is... Because I feel like when you go online, and then different sites tell you different things about like who, which generation you belong to. I think there is okay. like because I think that's how they they classify individuals, right? Like the government has like. But the gov- millennial is not a government term, or huh? Yeah, so who who is this bugger who like decided to like categorize humans into generations? Go and Google. Uh. <laughs> so annoying. Okay. <sighs> Is it the last question? No, it's really question five. I have one last question, but actually, oh. I I also don't know the answer, so I have to think also. Oh. Is there a local celebrity that you like? Who and why? Oh. Local celebrity. Yeah, I also have to think. Eh. Local celebrity. Um, Should we put regional? But regional will be too big at eh, the few. No, <laughs> I don't I have, know. I have. You have then, don't it? What kind of? Then, Susan? Yeah, yeah. Now your I don't have it. Eh. <laughs> what about Malaysia? Singapore and Malaysia? Singapore or Malaysia? Mm, local celebrity. Well, I don't follow one, eh, so I also got problem. Yeah. La. Mm, I, I like. Okay, okay, you go, go first. first. Yo. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I like. Very good. I like this. I like this. Uh, Singapore band called the the Sam Willows. Mm, I think they they sing quite well. Then recently, I followed this. Uh, Local comedian, her name is Annette Lee. So it's got A N N E T T E. Annette. She goes so to she... my church. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so she has you didn't a very. Know? I didn't know. So she no. has a very local brand of humor. So it's nice. So she makes uh films, short films with uh, I think it's a co-star Benjamin. But I wouldn't call her a comedian though. Then she's a local personality, yeah. Actor, host. Yeah, local she personality. She, she does funny funny skits lah, so that's why I associate. Yeah, I like Michelle her. Chong. I oh, okay. quite like Michelle Chong. Yeah. And I think yeah, I think that's about it for me. I'm sure, I'm not sure. very Huh? Okay, okay. What? Can. Nothing, nothing. What? Nothing. Hey, you are uh, you judge people can uh. people can all judge you eh. Can it's can horrible. judge. Must must be able to deal what you take. It's just I might cry. That's it. <laughs> yeah, then you so sensitive. <laughs> it's so okay. <laughs> you can't judge you, but you can judge people. Mm. Very good. Susan, you leh? I don't have. Yo, me. I don't follow this eh. Mm. I also don't follow, but I also, I also know a couple la, of people. I I think I think Michelle Chong. I I I like her. Uh, I like how she. I like how she has different personalities for her personalities. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you get what I mean? Or? She she does uh caricatures of people. Yeah, yeah. 
So then she has a few uh, split personality types. <laughs> like, you know, she, she names them. So yeah, it's like, yeah. if you are... It's a recurring if you're character. With, if you are, okay, if you're familiar with what I'm trying to say about um, split personality, right? So, you know, personality disorders, like there's a type where it's called split personality, right? So That's watching what... her is like watching someone with split personality because she has some that are... Um, recurring you know like always coming back and stuff like that and then they all have names so it's kind of like interesting in the sense that um she has shows for each of her split personality types <laughs> i don't think she calls them her split personality types like. i think that one is my joke uh on her but she does it very well see and sometimes i do think that if someone had uh all right it's like a textbook case of someone having split personality yeah, and it's fun to watch la, because of that. Um, although I know it's, 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 it's just all entertainment, she doesn't have split personality. La. It's called yeah. Dissociative Identity yeah, Disorder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Updated the, the term for it. So, so why do you have to correct us? Ah? Then we correct you cannot. Ah. Can, can correct. So, so oh. no like favourite writer or singer or... I don't know, someone whom you like, like local talent. Don't have, really don't have. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Susan, I, I know support her favorite. Local. Terrible. She got support. She oh, supports she Stephanie support? Jennifer. I'm a yeah. what, lo- local talent. I'm not even local. <laughs> you are local, local like you got PR already. <laughs> I'm not yeah, local. I see. What are you claiming? No one does want to give you your. Nobody your wants me. Yeah, so sad. <laughs> Ah, yeah, the boy you are. So the 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 is is a joke for all the viewers who are new. Basically, I'm I was born mid nineties, and at the point of time, Singapore didn't have um dual citizenship laws. So if a child was born overseas, they would be treated as a foreigner. So, but then now, uh, if either one of the parent, either the mother or the father, is Singaporean, uh, the child would be offered Singapore citizenship when they turn twenty. So it's, it's good to know now that they've made they've made progress. Yeah, but it's yeah. no longer applicable to you, right? So sad. Yes. No, it was, yeah. it was never. You can't be unborn, right? Yeah, you can't be unborn, unborn and so reborn, sad. right? Born later, yeah. <laughs> Would y'all like to talk about your tiles? The bee, you're like tangling mm. off screen here, yeah. so you can't really see. Oh, nice. Your tiles are so nice. Susan, you're so 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 nice. Then mine so. Who wants oh, to go Susan first? Debbie, you go first. Wow, oh, I think wow. Susan should go first. She got I two tiles. Know, yeah. <laughs> mm. She's point market. Uh. Wow. Yeah, 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 man. What's what's going on? I go Susan? first. I go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course you spoil market. Okay. Because this is a very small tile. Yeah, and I didn't tangle. I think I only tangled maybe one third of the tiles. And the remaining, it just keep it its own color so I can move on very fast. Now, this is only all the symphony okay, monotangle. And this one also. Actually, both of this, these two tiles is a monotangle. <laughs> only the symphony. So loyalty to the symphony. So is the, your is, the, is the yellow tile completed or are you going to add more to it? I'm going to just leave it. Oh. I find that it's very beautiful. I like how I paint the tile, the oh, color. Oh. Mm. It can be a sun, can be a flower. Mm. It can be oh, a sunflower. I don't to use really. So you thank you so for much for the time. tinted towel. Oh, rubbish. <laughs> yeah. Next time, next Why? time I'm gonna give you. You take from Stephanie. Why? I try. Because when I give you, you never thank me until like that, eh? Why she have? I don't have. <laughs> she, she got. <laughs> <one>. Okay. <laughs> I will fancy, fancy. Go right. When it's beautiful, there I'll say beautiful. Why? So pretty. So I, okay. I should record down every time I praise someone's house. Mm. Right. Just, <laughs> then, just, then yeah, just, I'm just like... learning from her. Because she did that to us the last time. Uh. So I must learn so from her. What? <laughs> I, learn from Stephanie. I, I had this learn inspiration photo. Things. I had this inspiration photo that I took of this artwork at uh, a special exhibit at the National Gallery that I went to see. The National Gallery in Singapore that I went to so see. So you copy uh, someone's idea? No, then I wanted to have an inspired piece but then I feel it very failed. So I'm very sad. 
But it's okay. We learn. Here it is. I'm not very happy with it, but it is what it is. Yeah. So I I, I use. What is, um, what is this? This purple one. It just is like yeah like, What to do? <laughs> so you are talking about this purple one. Yeah, purple one. Not happy at all. But here we are. Why is it fail? I just don't like it lah. They give the feeling that I wanted, but it's okay. You know, sometimes you have ideas in your head, then it doesn't translate well on paper. So it's okay. You can try again next time. Yeah. So I I started with some arugas. And then I did symphony around it. And then I used uh, combo markers to fill in some areas. And then I used uh, moonlight, sakura moonlight jelly rolls to draw print homes. And then I shaded uh, with some tombow markers. Is it because you are using too many different things? Do you think? I don't know. I think maybe it's... I'm using the wrong medium, maybe. Maybe the... What is the, the wrong medium? Maybe with the idea that I have in my head, I need to use gouache paints or like Posca markers in order to achieve that kind of... On a live show? Layer. No, no, obviously not. Lah. So yeah, maybe the, <laughs> the the vehicle in which I'm like creating my art is also <laughs> wrong. I shouldn't do this on live show. Too ambitious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's nice to experiment. I wouldn't say like, oh, I hate these and like things. It's just, it's just East. Lah. It's just East. Yeah. How about you, Debbie? Um, actually, this towel also wasn't what I planned. So, but it's nice though. Looks like so, a leaf. um, the original color was done, I think, by Stephanie, and I forgot to take a before photo. Oh. Uh, it was done with magicals, and Stephanie didn't write on the towel, so I don't know what magicals oh, or so. But then I also decided to up the color because I have uh, I have leftover magicals, so I have a stack of plates with uh magicals on them and i've been reusing these uh in my art basically you can keep them dry and they will keep for a long time actually you just need to reactivate with water when you use it so it's kind of like your own watercolor pen uh so i have actually used three colors to highlight uh and add low lights i don't know whether you can see though so one of it is this gem and this is the second one. I've left this one because I like the color in it. But I might add more magicals to this piece. And then I went over with a white jelly roll tent. To add highlights. Mm. But I'm not done yet. I feel like something is missing. But so I don't know what's missing. Yeah, so I don't know what's missing see. though. We will see what is missing. So with that, I can very nicely segue. <laughs> if you'd like to see uh, all of our completed tiles, you can go to our individual Instagram pages. Debbie can be found at tangled.pursuits. Susan can be found at susanyo.czt and I'm at halfpen underscore will draw. Again, as I mentioned at the start of today's session, uh, recording of today's session will be made available via 7F5R Studios uh, Instagram. So at Seven Forest Five Rivers and also our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash C slash 7F5R Studio. If you tangle along with us or if you use uh, the Tangle Symphony um, in a future project, please post your tiles in the 7F5R Challenge group on Facebook. We'd love to see what you've created. Yeah, and you can, of course, uh, if you're posting on Instagram, use the hashtag 7F5R challenge so that we can find your tiles and feature them in our Instagram stories. Yeah, was, this was fun. Very nice session. Felt like an advertisement for Singapore. <laughs> but it wasn't. But yeah, uh, happy National Day to Singapore. Well, it's a if, National Day edition. Yeah, right? yeah. If, if um, you haven't watched our the recording of our session, our free class that we held yesterday, you can also find it on our Instagram page and our YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh, I haven't okay. seen Susan's towel for that, have you? Yeah. Susan? Hold on. She's giggling. Yes. I haven't yes. finished. Okay, oh. we, we, we will look forward to it. Yeah. Mm. So the, the, uh, the next time we'll be streaming... No wonder she be... keep very quiet, huh? My so my. naughty. <laughs> <laughs> the, the next keep time quiet. we'll be streaming... Don't call me. <laughs> the, the next time that we're streaming will be this coming Monday, 15th of August, 2022. Oh, very soon, huh? Yeah, at 2.45 Another p.m. Another mindful meal. 
Yeah, my full name on Mondays. Yeah. yeah. So 2.45 p.m. Singapore time. And if you can't make it live, of course, there'll be a recording of the session. But yeah, thank you so much for joining us and tingling along with us. We hope you have fun. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.